What's going on? You fucking journey. This is the vaping fish coming at you again with another mod first look review. Um, I think it's a flawless day. Yeah, I'm reviewing another flawless mod. This one is a parallel box flawless. Um, this is a mechanical non regulated box, it has a monster in it. We're done with the video. No, well, I'm just playing. Uh, it's a very simple box. I mean, it's not nothing very complicated to understand. You know, you have to know your own flaw to calculate, you know, your shit before you use it. I'm using the brass, uh, polished brass, Tugboat V2 that I fucking love this fucking RDA with my double helix designs, uh, state gold cap on it. Uh, yeah, I like fucking double helix designs uh, caps. They, they are fucking awesome. Um, they have come in all different fucking colors and you can actually switch them up and shit like that and I fucking like that so yeah I do use them a lot and uh, this actually was my first tugboat and you know I, I, I fucking love the flavor on this fucking thing um, the conductivity on the fucking RDA is fucking awesome um, and of course I wanted a box for it so um, well I have some mechanical boxes purely mechanical no MOSFET and I have some that have a MOSFET and I have another, well, the Exxon, you know, is not very similar because it has a chip. So, but, you know, as far as boxes, and they all hit different. Um, this one is a parallel, but you have a MOSFET. So what it's going to do is going to protect your switch, but at the same time, it's going to limit your, how much you drop under ohms. So, you know, they recommend, I think it's a 0.15 build on it and up. Uh, I usually build it 0 0.19, 0 0.2 most of the time. So, you know, I'm cool with it because I don't build really that fucking low. Um, the only thing that I notice on this box, you know, besides the beautiful finish on it and the nice clean construction and the nice matchy clicky button and the actual clean, you know, build on it. You know, the only thing that I did notice on it that I wasn't very... Uh, well, I wouldn't know that I wasn't very happy. It's just that, you know, um, it has that drop on the voltage when it hits uh, because of that, you know, voltage going through that MOSFET. Um, so compared to a mechanical one, completely mechanical one, you can actually tell the difference. Um, as you know, parallels, they do give you a nice softer hit more than a series um and overall it is a satisfying vape but if you've been vaping on mechanical purely mechanical no mosfet you can tell the difference um this box runs like around right now they have it for like a hundred bucks is it pricey yes um it's a flawless but you know it has a very nice quality finish to it it has this little silver button here because it's covering a hole. I think they used to use this box for some other mod and they just kept on using it for this configuration that I'm fine with it. You know, I don't fucking care, you know, that it has that thing. It, it looks nice, you know. Um, the button is very nice. You know, it's an next home type of button, clicky, and it hits every time. Um, it's clean construction on the inside. The 510, it's fucking nice also. I mean... I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm trying to find something wrong with the box, and I can't, you know, spring load it. You know, I, I, it's, it's recessed into the actual box itself. You know, it's not sticking up. Um, it has little cutouts for air. So if, if your, you know, atomizer has some underneath, you know, airflow, you know, you have that airflow option there. So you know. It covers all angles, you know, I don't see, you know, if you put a very large atomizer, it's going to probably hang out, but I think it has like, this is a 22, and it still has a little bit on each side, so probably like a 24, you can fit it in here pretty decently. Um, I mean, it's, it's, an, it's a simple parallel box with a MOSFET, that's what it is, but they use high quality, you know, this is not a Hammond box or anything, a project box. This is actually a CNC box. And, you know, 
they use a very nice quality button, good quality MOSFET, you know, this LED is fine. The wiring on it, you know, it, it has very nice thick wires to it, clean construction, you know, nice magnets. It has this fucking little things here that will hold your door in place so it won't be like rattling around and shit. It can, it can, it barely moves. It doesn't make any fucking rattling noises. Or, I mean, you're paying for all that. Um, can a, you know, $40, $50 mechanical box do the same thing this does? Yeah. And it can hear you a little bit harder? Yes, it can. But again, it probably won't look as good and won't be as nice as this one. Um, you know, everything is engraved, engraved, very nice coating paint. Uh, the splatter is actually like bumpy, you can actually feel it. Um, you know, so you're paying for quality machining, quality parts, quality finish. Uh, I think that's that's the main reason why the price is, you know, a hundred bucks for it. And right now they haven't reduced it a hundred bucks. Um, but if you never had a parallel box before, you know, fully mechanical, but you need to learn your shit, you need to learn your own flaw before you fucking, you know, fuck with unregulated boxes, uh, and this is going to be a first one for you, I mean, yeah, th this will be a good choice, um, uh, because you get used to building on that, and then, you know, you can try and get into a full mechanical one, but, you know, you're going to feel your button getting hot and stuff, full mechanicals, tend to that have your button get hot because it's it's conducting through there so you you get a hot button this one does not get hot button because you have that mosfet you know uh, protecting the uh, the actual amperage on 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 the or the current that goes through that switch um, so you know it's just pretty cool um, it works every time you hit it uh, it's a nice soft hit even though this is a 0.19 I think it's a 0.19 I mean, it bakes pretty fucking good. Um, they have a lot of fucking colors and options, you know, for this box. Splatters, solids, you know, shiny. I mean, whatever you want. You, know, you, you don't have to be stuck to only like two, three colors. I mean, you have they have a bunch of options. Um, and again, is this is like top of the line parallel type of box. You know, it's, it's top of the line meaning it's a brand name. And they use a lot of good materials for it. Uh, the actual box itself, you know, the, the thickness of, of the aluminum they use on it is pretty fucking decent. It's not that thin. Uh, it is well constructed. It feels well constructed, you know. And, and you can tell, you know, right away when you get it, you see all the detail that goes into the box. So, yeah, yeah, it's going to cost more money than some clones and some uh, other, you know, different brands of boxes. Um, the only thing, the only box that I like more than this one, it will be the X one because of that series configuration and the more power output it can give you. But again, the downfall to that mod will be it has a chip, and you know you can burn out that chip if you don't regulate it correctly. This one you don't have to worry about chips or regulating anything. You just throw in nanometer is about 0.15 and you'll be fine. Um, so you know that's the advantage of it but on the other hand the other one will give you much more power and much much more options on your builds um, and um, but that's about it I mean that's all I can tell you about this mod it's very simple very nicely finished I mean it works well it hits you every time you hit the button you know it's a box mod you know it's a round regulator box mod and you know if you're looking for one and you want a good quality one, this is a very nice quality one. And it looks all nice and matchy matchy with the fucking taco fucking B2 that I fucking love. I love this fucking I wanna say this is one of the only RDAs that I really like really love besides my trolls and besides Yeah, my troll is is one that I have a very nice connection with. And this one, another one that I have a very nice and my twisted message. My twisted message the square yeah, that's a very nice fucking, those three, I want to say they're my favorite right now. So, well, thank you guys for watching and now for rambling and making this fucking video so long for a simple, unregulated parallel 
mod. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon again in the next one.